really thought about the opportunity you guys have each and every Wednesday, every Sunday, to share your faith in school, um, share your faith by bringing your friends, right? Because it, it was an opportunity that I didn't have. But you know what I did have? Throughout my history and my faith journey, Jesus was always there, right? So let me back the story up and go to the beginning and say, every time I turned around, when I gave my life to Jesus in 2007, when I thought back and I thought about every opportunity that somebody in my life, there's people who I met for two months, three months, six months, didn't matter. There's people in my life that I remember their names. I remember the times they invited me to youth group and I said no. Every single opportunity, every single person who was a Christian who I grew up with that poured into my life. When I got to college, there was people, Pastor Al, that used to be the pastor here at the chapel, uh, Pastor Joe, who used to be the pastor of uh, Before I was coming to church, we would play basketball together and they would sit there and we would stretch together. And we'd play basketball and I was using rough language. I was talking in ways that was different than Pastor Al and Pastor Joe. But didn't matter, every time we would come in, every single morning, they would stretch with me, they would hang out, they would play basketball, and they loved me. It didn't matter how I acted, but you know what that told me when I got to 2007 and I gave my life to Jesus and I started building that relationship? It told me that there was people and God was chasing after me the whole time. So despite the fact that I spent 25 years of my life telling God, no, I got this, it's under control. Don't worry about it. I really never had it. I never had it. Even when I was 25, 2007, when I finally decided I needed a relationship with Jesus, right? And some life events changed, some things changed, some people came into my life. Some of those people are in this room. And when I had that opportunity, um, I, I really was able to kind of look back and realize that every one of those people kind of shaped my faith. And those were opportunities that God was using and people that God was putting in my life at the very at the very moments to save my life. There was times where I look back and I think, I can't even believe I made it to 25. And believe me, when you give your life to Christ, it doesn't, doesn't mean that it's easy, right? So I still continue uh, to fight with a lot of things. I'm pretty OCD. It has to be my way. It has to be it's my way or the highway. Anybody in here show of hands? Anybody in here? OCD? Yeah. Well, my whole entire group back there is putting their hands up. So um, I've got the attention span of a potato, right? So I have to do like 100 things at a time. If I don't, if I'm not doing 100 things at a time, I'd probably lost me. So, but that's okay. But the reality was I kept giving myself back into those things even after 2007. And I don't tell you that to discourage you. What I do is I tell you that to say it's not easy but you have to build your life around friendships. So all that time, the God was still continuing to chase me and to chase me and to chase me. Even though I wasn't necessarily building friendships when I was a kid, what it led to is it, it led me to fix my ability to build friendships. And now as an adult, we're, um, we go to church, we go to lots of churches, we're involved in a lot of things at various churches, and I've started to shape some relationships with people who are godly, men, women, all over the place. We, we've been able to build relationships with kids, with students, with athletes. And it's been a great opportunity for me to really see what God wanted out of my life. And in 2007, it was the best decision I made. But one of the things I wanna kinda of close with this one is one of the things I really want you guys to understand is, you know, at Moby and at church, you guys come and they, they have you, you know, you go to camp, right? And it, Everybody comes up as an altar call, right? And give your life to Jesus. One of the things that I think is really important here at Moby, Chapel Students, whatever we're calling it this week, I'm gonna, I already told them I was going to call it Moby. So one of the things I think is really important for Moby in closing here is I think it's super important that you guys understand that it's so important to bring your friends. It's really, and my group knows this, but it's really weird and awkward if we as leaders who are super old and aren't teachers show up at your school and invite kids to church. But you guys have an opportunity. Every one of you goes out, you go to the schools that you go to, you're in the places, you're playing sports, travel sports, you have opportunities to bring your friends. It's not your job to change their heart. So think about that. There's no pressure. You bring your friends, 
It's our job as leaders to help you guys to have them come back. And it's God's job to change their heart. So just bring them and let God do the work. So that's my story.